Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Mr. Babel, and I am back. Let's improve that trap. That's not a significant improvement. Do I have two things to place? Because I this one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. I still have the rock. It's stuck, huh? The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the band. Oh, really? Interesting. You have no idea what that means any more than I do. It's stuck. Huh. Okay. No more penguin eye rock for me. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, how nice. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. Very. What are you doing? Nothing. Why is she so determined to hide these dolls of all things? And why is he unable to perceive any so, of them? So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. You'll always have a friend wearing big yeah, red shoes. Yes, I do. When Mommy and Daddy scream, I oh, go God. to my secret hiding spot. And in my <sighs> They never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? Not in the least, but I'm gonna lie about it. I guess I can only hear you in my head, and I trust my own head, so yeah. That makes me so happy to hear, Miss Fortune. Well, anyway. Now, for the third question, are you afraid of dying? I'm afraid of death itself. The process of dying, the scary part is the process. No, I'm not afraid of death, because all, all, all dead people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks Ugh. like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. Hey, All look right. at that. I think we're here. A hey. cabin in the woods. Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. Hey, you really hate that fox. I think the fox is trying to do something to oh, stop whatever you're doing. Like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> Her fixation on the fox is kind of creepy, though. I'm, I'm going to say that right now. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Yes, be brave and cute. You're good at that. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us, and everything will be fine. What was that weird sound? Anyway, Is he has not... Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. He has not been able. He wait. He has been able to follow us everywhere uh, into the fox's house. But Bonze. <laughs> but yeah, he's followed us everywhere but into this house, which makes me think it's protected against him. Let's see. Benjamin's on TV. <laughs> Anybody who records themselves is on TV. The monster. Damn it! I broke Benjamin's tape. Well, the VCR did, but you pushed it, so... Tisk, tisk, tisk. Maybe I can fix it. Happiness to the video player! <laughs> <laughs> That's so useless and yet so cute! Uh, Happiness to the video player! Is that Benjamin's diary? 
uh, it's not the right thing to do, but yeah, I gotta get answers somehow. I'm just gonna have a little look inside. Uh, by Benjamin Julianus Red Fox. Benjamin Julianus Red Fox. I knew his name was Benjamin. That's a mouthful of a name. Must make ding dangerous mission. Mission must be done. It is what I trained to make. Nervous, but is okay. I has study and bigger confidence. Travel from Synergy to Pandora. Fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long stay. He's not from open field. I bet he has an accent. I love I, that in a fox. Ugh. I rent cabin till work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. Yeah, this is just confirming what I suspected earlier. After a long walk in fog, arrive city called up, up to Open Field. Tiny town has good forest. Cabin very nice. TV, kitchen, I sleep, sofa. I decorate cabin. Fish balls smell funny. Eat mushrooms in woods. Refresh after sleep. Try to find parasite. Did not find it. Day one. Day one fail. Sorry, I'm having to dub this in after because the mic cut out. The missing kids. Many victims. Oh, Many victims gone missing in Parasite Game. I can't help. Feel sad. I send message to boss. Some victims not coming to Sinner City. I see Parasite. It scared me. Also not eat more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas. Is no good. Don't eat this mushroom again. Mushrooms. Serious danger. Uh, mushroom serious danger. Not feel good. Danger mushroom. I stay home. Cut wood and do tea and root soup. Good taste. I do dolls for victim and pictures if she sees them good. Parasite recognized Morgo code P numbers. It likes to play. It has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. No rest till stomach good. P O one O one two two two. All right. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. Go help victims in town. Morgo knows I'm here. Morgo did old play the old trick many times now. It make mistake. Only one victim can hear its voice inside its head. Victim code misfortune. Nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. Missing a voice? It's a monster. Boss in message. Watch victim house. I sleep outside house. Hide in trash. I fail find parasite. It did not come today. Big trouble. Misfortune watch me. Strange. Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. Are you even reading this, girl? Why he she see me? She big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in... Sorry. I see Morgo play a little trick again. Victim don't realize this is all, all, all is again. All is again. Must courage and stop Parasite this time. Send many victims... Check out stick. Send many victims to Sinair City. Got level 2 protector. I confident. Now I has Prime Eve Illumination Cane. Yeah, again, I'm doing this after, so I don't know when I click stuff. I try Primeval Illumination occasion, Cane and Woods. Fun. I feel courage. Practicing to help Miss Fortune. I see she talks too much. Talk. I think she fun and strong. Morgo confused by charms of misfortune. I did video picking wood and Parasite came, but I'm courage now. I scared only little. Hmm. Yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. I message boss. I'm doing it today. All steps followed. Prepared breakfast tea. Funny feeling with tea. Herbs from wood are fun. Benji has a boss. He has a job. Then I can be married to him. I am courage and confident today. Go, Benji. Oh, and also it's been pointed out this game is Swedish in design, so that's probably the accent I'm hearing. Look at all these books. The meaning of love. Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that Lear in a fox, too. Learning how to be gray. He wants to be a gray fox. Communication, key to cooperation... And I'm sorry, I cannot read these titles on the tiny little window in the editor. Hey, jamming tunes. Tea. Mm, that tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blend. Because I can almost smell his boss blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. Sure, why not? Might as well drink the tea or mm. eat the porridge. It definitely tastes like his fluffy paws. Is mm, delicious. Oh, I feel weird. 
Well, yeah, it was full of herbs from the forest. Again. Little girls liking cute animals is one thing, but this is just... Ugh. Okay, and neither of them can eat properly. What the hell? Why are we lingering on this? <laughs> Aww. It's cute, even if it is creepy. Whoa. I take it back. It suddenly became less creepy. I mean, less cute and more creepy. Yes, it did. How many times is someone going to puke in this game, for the love of Look God? Look at that. looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> Alright. There he is. Benjamin, I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Oh, that's so sweet, but I'm sure he didn't steal it and there was no eternal Are happiness. You afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Huh? It's all set you? up by the voice. Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is you're that? strange. Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. That's why the voice kept dismissing her seeing the monster. The children. Uh, yeah, I'm not staying here. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? What do you mean, like if you are a girl in trouble? Down into the basement. Down, down to Goblin Town. Alrighty. Oh my god, she fell Benjamin, again. Benjamin, where do you go? Oh, Jesus. Is that Benjamin? Oh no, is this Benjamin? Well, it's not bloody, so maybe it's just like shed fur. There's Whoa. a hole behind the painting. Hello? Go through it. I can't reach it. I'm a little lame, you know. Yes, you've mentioned it before. Fortunately, I have a stool right here, so... Uh -huh. Such a clever little lady. Something, something, stool sample joke. Alright. Here Thank we go. You use my ninja skills. Ninja skills. Shh, oh, come on. Crack. Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. Why is the low Benjamin, humor just inserted randomly? Here? It just kind of feels out of place when they're making poop and so fart it jokes. Benjamin place in this. But Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. I don't think so. I think fish balls are cooked. Oh well. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not bothering trying to leave until I get that key hmm, I see right there. A picture of a key. Oh, it's a picture of a key. Okay. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Your ninja senses suck, and you're probably just gonna fall off. Oh, never mind. She did not fall on her face. Good for her. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> A secret nope. button. Ninjas touch only what they're supposed to. Yes, I'm gonna push the button. You don't push the button. All I right push the button. Then. I push the button. Elevator go up. Yes. I'm going to keep making that reference to buttons almost every time they come up in a game. 
at least once per game, not necessarily every time in an individual game. I liked Tiny Toons. That was easy. Although one thing that kind of ticks me off about Tiny right. Toons... Time to find Mindy. Or not pisses me off, but... Oh, damn it, you oh, fell on your face again. Without a doubt. When I got the eternal happiness. There is no eternal happiness. happiness. Let's find Wait, I gotta hammer a button to get up? Get up, Miss Fortune. Why is this happening now? You are stronger than you think. Yeah, you are, but th this feels like something that should happen in a more dramatic... You were knocked down before. You weren't knocked down. You fell on your face. Did you let that stop you? Get up, girl. Get up, would... Miss Fortune. You can do it. I would think this would happen, like, when the monster knocked us down, or, you know, something because... more serious. Because... Because... You are the little lady, Miss Fortune! <laughs> Good for you. A little bit of glitter. Alright. Okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Bummer. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Oh my god, she actually gets to pet an animal. Dream come true. Oh, <laughs> you would, you would. A baby deer. <laughs> eh, it's more like a most partially grown deer. Yay! Okay, things are. Uh oh. Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. Excuse me. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm yeah, but I don't very care. Very disappointed in you, Mr. Boys. Please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. I trusted you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that! Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You Why should me. I, I don't care? Want the eternal happiness anymore. About I your rules. Won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. No, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. I mean, if he was carrying it when he got carried away, it's, there's not necessarily a clue inside about his whereabouts. <gasps> of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal with yourself? What deal? Is it a big deal? <gasps> oh, the cute baby Benjamin. Is that Benjamin as a baby? <laughs> so cute. Well, probably little kid. Babies don't typically listen to music in earbuds, but hey. There's a note, and it is just way too small for you. As the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituted free five realms of essential existence have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the Beyond. I'm having to lean in real close. We can't allow... The Beyond is in civil terms a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment since the foundation of reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra-reality before the ultra-war. The Beyond is still a misunderstood realm. Haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. 
The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. This is really starting to sound like this is kind of the, the like they may be related to Kamala. This is why we need the protectors. Protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the influence. Oh, this is really mysterious. Yeah, I went back to check the note. Protectors are the only ones capable of seeing the imbalance between the realities using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims guide them into the sinistrity. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to sinistrity. Try to be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to continue. So, if you're good at your job, you get stuff to make the job easier that you really could have used when you were struggling. The thing is, a lot of jobs work that way, so I can't really... Protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protect your parasite case, blah, 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 Morgo. Evaluate the victim's assistant, if so, pursue to step two. Victim seems to have forgotten their identity. Nope. Victim's already dead but doesn't realize it. Nope. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real, possibly. Victim sympathizes with the parasite. The Used parasite. to, but not, any, but not anymore. Parasite. Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. Shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. Quickly learns about the environment, language, culture, and not an issue for the parasite. Large flocks of black birds appear near the parasite. The birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Use the surroundings to help the victim be aware of the parasite. Take your can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. That's why he keeps running away. It would lead to irreversible trauma in the victim's mind. If the parasite kills paint. the victim, you'll need... I like to paint. You'll need to proceed to step three immediately, and it's ripped up. Prepare for direct contact Wait, with... What? what? Well, until we find the rest of the thing. You don't usually find half a note in a video game without finding the rest of it. It happens, but it's not all that common. So, in her mind, she fixed it. You know, the glitter is really cute, but it's really not helping anything. But it's very much adorable. So did he deliberately rip his bag and leave it there for us to find? Because it looked like he was watching us. Alright, I guess I'll take the train back home. Take the midnight train going anywhere. Just a small tan girl. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. Living in a lonely world. Such a foxy boy. Yes. How do you know he's a boy? Maybe Benjamin is a girl's name in Fox Real Fox reality or Fox culture. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. That's essentially what you've been doing this whole time. Now that the voice is gone. So misfortune. How have you been? Okay, she's I a have princess. Been, like where are they? I saw With monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. Skull and crossbones like alone. princess wow. hat. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> okay, that was undeniably cute. Her image of herself in her head really is a cute little princess. Alright. In case I'm dubbing this after, I think I'm going to cut out a lot of this right here, because this takes literally a minute and a half for me to color this in. There we go. Getting it all colored in. It's not like I have to change colors or anything because somehow the same marker will do different colors as they do different things. But it was still slow going because I wanted to stay in the lines. But this is moderately tedious. Uh, I don't feel inspired. 
Well, 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 chica baba. You know, I didn't recognize you. Hmm. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. I don't think you know, so. I had a big fight with the silly voice in my hand. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. She, she says it so casually. Oh, he's the heard monster. Voices in your hand. I know Hira. What does it mean? Beware of the consequence. Oh monster. God. I'm pretty sure Tatsukuka means help me. Yeah, hell yeah. He's a ghost. You can't. So how is that different if the end result is no different if I just sat there? Alright. Getting off the train. Yes. The last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh, well, you'll have to walk all the way home next time, because this is where I'm going to wrap things up for here. Mostly because I already recorded this. This is dubbed in after, and this is where the video ends. So please, if you enjoyed this, just a second. Benjamin was warning me all that time, but I couldn't say it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. Yeah, at least there was that. Good night, everybody.